Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at area, but we're going to be looking at it a little bit differently uh, again. And this time it's going to be what's called the area of irregular shapes. A regular shape would be like a square or a rectangle. But an irregular shape might be a combination of a square and a rectangle or, a, or another funny shape. We saw some funny shapes or different shapes in perimeter and finding the perimeter. And so this time we're going to try to find the area of those different shapes. And so you see a different shape here. kind of looks like a sideways L that you see here that you see in orange. And, but really all it is is a combination of two shapes. And so we've been finding the area of normal shapes like a rectangle or a square. This time we're going to be combining the shapes to make an irregular shape and finding the area of that entire shape. So let's look at these two shapes that I have here. Of course, going to look at, let's look at one together. Let's look at this first one. Of course, the first one is the top one. And so I'm going to kind of do a little dotted line right here. You can kind of see it a little bit with the blue. And so now you're looking at this shape right here. What shape do you see right here? Of course, you see a rectangle. And the measurements are 7 and 3, which if we did length times width, 7 times 3, the area would be 21 square feet, right? 21 square feet. Of course, that's what you see down here in the explanation. And then the next shape, we're going to look right here. What kind of shape is that? It's a square because you have 3 and 3, and then the area of the square is 9 square feet. So now I have 9 as I write over my nose. Okay, so now I have the area of the rectangle is 21, the area of the square that's right attached to that rectangle is a 9. And so all I do is going to add those two numbers, and it's going to give me a square, 30 square, abbreviate, feet. Thirty square feet, and so when you find it in an irregular shape, the the easy way to do it is to see what shapes are combining to make that irregular shape. Because if you can combine them, let me see if I can clear clear this page. So now you can see a little bit better. Now you see the irregular shape that we had before was like like an L or kind of like a gun. That way, kind of like a gun. And so, um, let's say we were to have another shape. Let's say we would have a shape, and we'll draw it over here on this wall area. Let's say I would have a shape like this. Okay. Can you see the two shapes that I make? Of course, I can show you. Let's see if I can get a color. You can kind of see. Now I have another square, and here I have a rectangle. And so, you can look at an irregular shape and find shapes that are combined to make it. So let's say I had this one was 10 on that side. Uh, this would be maybe 3. So the area of this one would be 30 square units. And let's say this one was also 3, which that one was 3. That would be 3 times, it's an ugly X, 3 times 3 would be 9. And I'll just add those two together, give me a square unit total of 39 square units. So that's how you would use or how you define the area of irregular shapes.